Hi everyone, I'm Don Harris from News 4 WOAI. Thanks for coming out and supporting the memory and the family of Robert Quiroga. You know, when Robert was taken from us, it was one of the most shocking stories to hit us here in the San Antonio sports community. For those of you who knew Pekin, you will forever remember his incredible toughness. At only 5 foot 4 and 115 pounds, Robert was invincible for his first 20 fights, becoming San Antonio's first world champion. A title he defended successfully five times, including his most memorable fight, the incredible 12-round decision over Kid Akeem and Afawishi. A bloodbath that put Kid Akeem in a coma right here in San Antonio. Robert was inducted into the San Antonio Sports Hall of Fame in 2001, and after he lost his last two fights, I know we all respected him for the way he walked away from the game of boxing at the age of 25. He told us to remain true to the sport. I deep down inside lost that uh, eye of a tiger. And when you lose that, and when you're in there for business purposes rather than for the purpose you're supposed to be in there, which is fighting, I don't think you belong in the ring. What we should also remember about Pekin was how much he cared about his community. He worked with kids after retiring from boxing and worked at changing the direction of his west side neighborhood. I will always remember Robert Kiroga for his Rocky-like effort against Kid Akeem. It's amazing they both didn't die in the ring that day. I sat at ringside amazed at the blood, the brutality, and the courage that he showed. But I also came to know the gentle Pekin, the West Side kid with that big smile. Underneath that smile, the same fire and determination that made him a world champ. The Robert Kiroga I knew was a class act. He will be missed, and our best time it will be Robert's life that we will focus on, not his death. Pekin was without question the toughest boxer I ever saw fight. Tenacious, determined, never backing down. That determination could have cost him his life against Kid Akeem Anifawishi. Instead, it turned out to be his finest hour. At 25, he retired, worked with emotionally handicapped youth, was a respectable community citizen with a good job, a good reputation, and he will forever be remembered in San Antonio sports lore in the Hall of Fame. For those of us who knew Pekin, there is a lot we'll remember. Tough guy in the ring, nice guy out of it. And soon as the newspapers fade to yellow, history will begin to show it won't be how he died that we remember, but how he lived. He's a good friend, you know, a good long-time friend. I mean, he's going to be missed by everybody here in San Antonio. Even the ones that didn't know him, they're here to pay their respects. You, you got to understand, a man like that, he put San Antonio on the map. Bring the first world title to San Antonio. He was a great person outside the ring, and I judge people by what they do outside the ring more than I do inside, because who you are outside the ring is the person you really are, and Robert was a great person. He's a big part of uh, where I want to be in my future, you know, and uh, I'm kind of sad that I never really got to know him. I know that he loved his daughters and he was always with them, always. It's kind of hard for somebody not to like somebody like Robert, who's was just a people person. The words just came to me that we had lost the best and he was the best. He's touched the community so much, that's why you see a lot of people out here. He was just a great guy, uh, always just a fun guy to be around with and uh, it's just for, it's a tragedy and it, something never had to happen and it's unfortunate but um, he's going to be missing San Antonio. He is San Antonio through and through. He is Robert Giroga, the Alamo City's first world champion in the sport of boxing. Giroga started boxing at the age of 10. It was then his father gave him the name Pekin, meaning small and hot like a pepper. And it fit, even 10 years later when he prepared for the fight he had always dreamed of a title fight. At 5 foot 4, 115 pounds, the 20-year-old warrior took the IBF Bantamweight belt away from Juan Pettis with a 12-round unanimous decision in Sunderland, England. Giroga would defend his title five times, but perhaps the toughest came with number three. It was a fight right here in San Antonio against Kid Akeem Anafawushi. He, pred he predicts a knockout. His name's Kid Akeem, Akeem Anafawushi. But he's in the dream. The kid Akeem's in the dream. He's in your backyard, bro. In my backyard, and uh, he came to the wrong town against the wrong guy. 
and I'm going to keep my belt. It was a brutal 12-round brawl between two warriors who refused to lose. Giroga, to the delight of his hometown, won by unanimous decision, but both fighters showed the pain and the toughness of the bout. Now, Quiroga made the most of his fame. He led the fight against drugs right here at home, making him a true champion that kids could look up to. Quiroga went through firefighter school and worked as a counselor after he retired from boxing. He had a great career. He was a true champion. And now Robert Quiroga is definitely worthy of being called a Hall of Fame.